have new extensions! I'm so excited. This is good news, especially given that we've had a lot of bad news recently. So, uh, hurrah for good news. And let me show you what it is that's going on. Google rolled out um, image extensions. Big shout out to Uncar on my team for pointing this out. We saw it in one of our client campaigns. I looked through quite a few others, including mine, and, and I don't have it enabled yet. Um, so you may not have this just yet, but it's coming. It's still in beta. Um, uh, I'll include a link to this uh, little help doc in the description of the video, but um, just a couple of notes. You can upload up to 20 diverse uh, high-quality images that are relevant to your keywords. Cool. So Google's letting us upload up to 20. Um, it can take five days for them to be approved, which kind of makes sense. You can do uh, 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 square images or landscaped images. Google is telling us to prioritize square images, uh, which also kind of makes sense too, because in the Google landscape, I think square is just going to fit better. Um, they're also giving us uh, all of the responsibility in terms of making sure that you own the images, which by the way, y'all, don't mess around with this. I've been sued. I was sued by Getty Images for something that one of my content writers pulled an image off of Google search. We even like modified it. He put like an overlay on it and flipped it, not think anything of it. This was years and years and years ago. And then the client that we, we use that image for ends up getting like a cease and desist from Getty Images and then they sued us for thousands of dollars. And then I found out from my attorney that we ended up engaging with that that's actually their business model. They like make images readily accessible and they'll even sell images to uh, different template farms. Um, and they're just a bunch of patent trolls. And so they're waiting for you to go and post their images so they can go sue you. And uh, we paid. It sucked. Um, so just be really careful. Um, and, you know, I mean, more to the point, too, I guess maybe if I'm being more responsible in what I'm saying here, sometimes it's not anybody doing anything nefarious, like Getty Images is, you know, a crock of thieves, but um, they're just stock photo libraries of, you know, photographers and, and media creators that deserve to be paid for their work. And um, back in the day, I used to kind of just pull those images off and I didn't think anything of it, but as I've met more and more of those people and I understand more about how their business model works, um, you know, let's support them and let's not steal people's photography. So quick soapbox moment, but moving along, uh, what do we have? So we can apply this extension on the ad group level or the campaign level. And that comes with some obvious implications, right? If you're putting on the ad group level and the images are going to be more specific to the ad group that you're applying them to. But if you're putting them on the campaign level, then it's going to be a little bit easier to manage, but you're going to be maybe kind of diluted. So a business like mine, I run Google ads and all my ad groups speak to Google ads. I would have an easier time throwing 20 images that basically apply to everything. But if you have quite a few, you know, varied services or products or whatever, you're probably going to want to play on the ad group level. Um, they're saying to add three unique images to the extension. So up to 20, but a minimum of three. Prioritize your square images. And uh, if somebody clicks on an image, you're being charged just like they clicked on your ad, which kind of makes sense. Um, and the way that they're showing up is pretty cool. Let's see if I can get you an example of that. Um, oh, wait, actually, I think they have a link to it here. So a couple of notes, uh, ex image extension format requirements. Um, I'll link to this just so you have it too. It's really important to know. Um, they're going to not play nice at all with massive amounts of text overlay, just FYI. Um, I can tell you that right out of the gate. So just be really careful with putting too much text on it. Um, but you can kind of see where Google's like, hey, this is, you know, out of focus, not allowed. Uh, in focus is allowed. Um, you know, the, the kind of messed up images, they're not, they don't want to see, um, they don't like this heavy, heavy zoom. Uh, so, uh, images that are cropped in a way that makes the subject matter difficult to distinguish, um, images containing lingerie, bathing suits, you know, e even like this would be perfectly fine for a product listing ad, but Google doesn't like it. So these things are allowed. So just some things to note, um, texture graphic overlay. They don't like text, um, now that's okay, but this isn't. And that's interesting because the images that I used have text overlay, so I bet you that I'm going to get penalized. I was just playing with the tool. Um, they also have dynamic image extensions, which are kind of cool um, and also very dangerous because what Google is going to do is automatically pull images from your landing page, from the landing page of the ad, into your ads. Um, and as with all things dynamic, Google is going to do this automatically without asking you. Uh, which I think is a little bit dangerous. So when you're in your extensions, uh, remember you can go uh, campaign level or, or ad group level, but in the extensions, um, go up here to the little plus bubble and you may see image extension, which is in beta. And if you see image extension, it's actually like super basic, to be honest with you. You get to choose, is this going to the campaign or the ad group? And then you can say, I'm going to add new, which means I'm going to upload images. 
Um, and it's kind of cool because it lets you scan your website for images if you want to, but it's unlikely that the images on your website match Google's aspect ratio perfectly. So I'd recommend just creating images for this. And take a look at the way that it's going to manifest though. You're gonna be able to drop images into your ads, which we've seen for a long time. We've seen Google playing with this, toying with this for more than a year. Um, I've just never seen it actually in one of my client accounts. Uh, but I've seen, you know, every now and again, you'll get, and it's usually like Google's real high spend, um, you know, they're, they're sort of um, uh, teacher pet type clients that get all this really cool extra stuff that we don't get. And so I've seen images and media shown up in, inside of ads just like this, but um, it's been a minute since uh, I even heard whispers of them making it enabled. So I don't know if I, you know, dismissed it or whatever, but it's really cool that it rolled out. Um, so the images are going to show up here. You can upload the images or you can use existing images, um, which you know, is, is perfectly fine, assuming that the images are relevant to what it is that you're, that you're uh, pursuing. Once you've added them, like Google said, it's going to take five minutes for um, the images to be approved, or five minutes, I meant five days, and it'll show up like this. So you'll see the images in the image extension, um, where they're added, uh, and then if they're on a campaign or ad group level. Um, and then, you know, just like everything else, we're able to see impressions, cost clicks, etc. cetera. Um, Y'all, this is super cool. This is super cool. This is one of the things that I think is going to give a significant advantage to paid ads over organic listings. Um, Google just, just for the very first time, gave paid listings uh, a leg up in, um, you know, uh, organic listings even have something akin to, you know, not exactly site link extensions, but they'll be expansive in certain ways. And, you know, you'll see uh, queryable information or even searchable information, depending on how uh, structured your site is. Um, you're not going to see anything like this inside of the organic, uh, or at least, excuse me, you will and you have, but it's not as often. I think that um, using image extensions, this is going to be huge, especially for mobile. You're going to be able to occupy more real estate as with other extensions. Um, and it's just going to be so compelling. Um, so I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to make some, some really big impacts. It's also going to apply a little bit more in the way of um, the need for creative, for strong um, creative inside of Google search, which, you know, our, our, us data nerds haven't been used to having to, to produce outside of a little bit of remarketing ads, which Google does for us. So uh, this is fun, too, because it, it speaks to the need for us to revisit the entire full funnel experience, uh, emphasis on, you know, creative and, and ads since Google's taking away some of our, our uh, technical functionality. Um, but this is, uh, and it, this is great news for advertisers and for agencies. Good opportunity to set yourself apart. Good opportunity to provide additional value for clients. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I think this should see um, really significant impacts, especially depending on your industry. Um, Y'all, the, the, the value proposition here is immense because, I mean, if you're in that four pack, um, it's a dogfight. You know, if you're in that four pack, it's a dogfight. And if you have an image extension fire, I can't imagine Google's going to fire image extensions. I mean, gosh, it has to be prioritized. I, I would hope that it's only one advertiser, but even if it's not, it's going to only be one or two. There's no way they're firing image extensions for more than that. You know, the same way they was with uh, site link extensions, um, or at least the expanded version of site link extensions show up for one. Um, and then if they show up for others, they tend to be truncated. So um, this is going to be a really unique opportunity to set yourself ahead of competitors and to also, you know, play a really solid split testing game too, to see what images are appealing to people. Um, this could be like a really unique opportunity to do some like product level split testing, um, you know, testing colors and, and narratives and those types of things. So really super excited, uh, interested. If anybody else has this enabled in their account, I'm curious as to whether or not you've used it, if you have, in what context, uh, what type of results you've seen, that sort of thing. So thanks for watching. Uh, excited that I can finally give you good news today. And um, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. You already know. Uh, love you all. See you tomorrow.